Welcome everyone to the game please. Today I will show you how to beat my most brutal level to date called Hallow's Mile 13. This level is all about observing and seeing changes in what's around you. I added comments to help the users like embrace the trampoline, go after it before it gets to you. Alright, wh why don't I get started so we can show you more? I know a good chunk of people are gonna resist me here, but you gotta embrace the trampoline. There's an alternative, of course, but you gotta be careful because the ghost can get you like that. But if you embrace it, that's the fastest way. So, like that. See? That's the fastest way to just go through this place. Alright, you got Drunk Mario here, but if you read that comment, it says observe the pattern in coins, doors, and arrows. They will guide you to the next place. Yeah, so coins, doors, and arrows, they're all important, as you will see right now. Oh, and by the way, you notice that the vines are sort of look like a 1? And this vines look sort of like a 2? Oh, there, look, arrows. Notice, and as you can see on number two, there's also a door, and there happens to be another leaf. Now three doesn't have a door, so that one might not doesn't really have anything. But it three does have an unusually higher than usual point, so I'll, so that that tells you there's something here that that we're not completely sure. Uh, let me just be careful with this boo. I don't Alright, I grab the coin. Right, whatever. You climb somewhere at the around the area. You can see there's something out there like a I like a arrows pointing to a different direction. So that means there might be something in there that we need to get. Now you can see that this is area four because the vines tell you there, like vines four, as you can see. And there's also another uh, leaf in there. Then how about five? It doesn't have a door, but it does have an usually high bind. And you can see this has a door, the, like a like a bind that just goes way up high. So, yep, pretty much. Now we can get into that uh, number three. And you can see we can actually get into that door if we want to. I'm just going around here. As you can see, we can actually get back to this pipe. I don't, there there will be a reason to go back to this pipe uh, in key time, so I'm just showing you that you can do it. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, let's see. What else? Okay, so let's let's go back to the um, area three, but we're gonna have to climb again. Just like that. Oh, let me show you this this. So just be careful with the uh, fire. In there, and then you can go down, and you can end up in this location. Either this door would also take you to this location, but uh, it, it's almost like a trap that you can see. Um, there's a door. This door takes you back to the to the to the area one. Um, you only need that door if you're uh, if you lost a leaf and you need to go back and get another one. Um, in this case, you're open, or, you know, like, you really can't do anything, so you just go back to the beginning. So that's, those are things you can do, so, pretty much. Okay, so we're in area 4 now, let's go to area 5 and just, as you can see, we can... This is an alternate way to jump to get here. As you can see, uh, I can just jump and go here, and then just keep moving around, like that. That door takes you to the that one with the trampoline, the other door with the trampoline, so the one with the trampoline and anything else. This is the one you need. And as you can see there's a checkpoint already. Now, hidden P switch. 
right here. Um, now you just gotta grow some momentum. And you gotta hit those things. You gotta hit the dry bones. And the leaf will continue to stay on momentum as long as you hit one of them. So, like that. You see? I haven't actually left them on all because I used to have So, last one. Now go out above the, the uh, spike and get into this part. That's all I gotta do. Pretty simple. Now this one, boom. Got a checkpoint. So two checkpoints already. So we got that door. This door, it's, it's a way to go back to get a leaf in case you lose one of them. Like I really have no way to give you a leaf in here. I don't think go back to the first door. But I'll show you that later. For now, just climb up here, get to the pipe, carefully, rub down, like that, be stable about it, that means that there's just a drunk hand in there. Now move to the left, immediately, and then step on one of the bumps, take it to the door, and then leave it on this place. Now here's the tricky part. You have to get to the right side, and start running, like that. Don't jump too high. Going around. You can do it once. You might have to do it only once or a little more than once. But once you get it right, just keep climbing all the way up. All the way up. Don't stop. Don't stop. And boom, baby. We got it. Pretty simple stuff, huh? Pretty sure a lot of people will disagree with me, but oh well. So this is the final part. Uh, basically, uh, we got this, this, this checkpoint actually. All it does is get you to this point without a leaf and with a key. So whenever you start, you say, what the heck? Am I stuck here? What's going on? You're like, no, not really. What you gotta do is go back to this pipe. And then you're gonna feel like you go back to the... You're, gonna, you're starting from scratch, but no, that's not the case. You actually don't have to do the whole level all over again. All you have to do... Grab a leaf and then just start uh, building a, uh, a bridge back to the to the uh, first pipe, like that. As you can see, just gotta fly, just fly around, continue to create more bridges, like that. And with that, you can create as many bridges as one. You, you actually don't need that many. You just need enough to, to walk around. In my case, I just don't like going crazy with the bridges like that. So, time to fly. Now, you can hit the vine or fly up. Either way it works in this, in this case. So now we go back. That's all we gotta do. We don't even have to look for anything or do anything to be honest. So, there you go. And we got that. Now that we're here, careful with the bombs. Stay on the left. And that's the safest spot. Just left the pipe. You'll be safe. All the time. So, now we go back to the door. And now you can use your uh, tail to break all the blocks. And now, you see the arrows? The arrows telling you to fly there. We did, we did that before. But in case you don't put attention to arrows, you can also fly up. And you'll end up finding this, this interesting here. And like that, I think I've shown you just about everything. So, the gameplay is happening.